I'm Britt and I'm here at Blaine Southern at the incredible Wim Wenders Early Works exhibition looking at his personal collection of Polaroids from the years 1964 to 1984. The exhibition covers 1964 to 1984, so the first picture in the show, or the earliest picture in the show is uh, the picture of Brittany that uh, Wim took when he was... 17, 18, uh, so he's still a teenager. And, uh, and then it goes right up to the early 80s, which is a picture of Sydney, the glasses in front of a building in Sydney. It's about 20 years of work, and uh, it's black and whites, which were shot on 35 mil, and Polaroids, which were shot on a range of different Polaroid cameras. The show emerged partly based on the photographer's gallery show that we, you know, we would like to show some of the early work. Normally with Vim, we show large-scale photography, so... He's a filmmaker, but he considers his photography different, a completely separate project. I know that this is one of Vim's favorites. I think he just likes the sheer unlikelihood of what happened with that um, landscape. It's a seascape. You can see that the, the sea is there, but it, it, the medium just completely transformed it into some, this sort of almost Ellsworth Kelly-like uh, abstract with this great slab of, uh, of earth. It's a German landscape, it's a romantic landscape of the Rhine and it reminds me of a Caspar David Friedrich and has such an intense painterly quality and a wistful quality and I think the, the quality of light uh, is extraordinary and I think it's just impossible to predict that how that would have happened. He, you know, he saw the scene which would have been very familiar to him, that's where he's from around the Rhine and then he snapped the picture and, and look at the colors that came out, it's incredible. I think there's an element of drama here and an element of storytelling and uh, a, a story that he didn't make up and I think that entrances him, the, the, the idea that he can follow children and children have their own lives and their own story. I think it shows Vim's take on the world, his vision, his, uh, his visual sense um, and then for the rest of us, you know, it's, it's just fun to look at and, and so it's a bit autobiographical and it's a bit, you know, it's a bit of a autobiography of, of an artist. One of my favourite things about this exhibition as somebody who owns and loves their Polaroid camera is that Vim took over 12,000 photographs across these years and he handed them out to everybody because he felt that the subject owned the photograph more than he did. I think this is a very rare and personal exhibition and one that you can get so up close and personal with somebody's artwork that is so instant.